What a beautiful day. Definitely a beautiful day. Hey everybody. Um, just doing a quick little prep video today, preparing for boil number four tomorrow. And uh, got everything in the pans, so we're good to go. The drip bucket is full. So that's five gallons. That's roughly four gallons. Then I have five gallons. And how much is in this one? About two and a half. So five, five, two and a half, 10, 12 and a half, 16 and a half. So yeah, I think my calculation, I think my calculation was about 17 gallons today uh, for tomorrow morning. Um, I have it all written down. So uh, yeah. It's going to be a long day tomorrow, but that's okay. The refractometer is testing this at about 2%, which is good. Collected sap this afternoon. Uh, whatever I get tomorrow as well will also get added to the cook. So it could be a 20 gallon plus. We shall see. You can see we're, you can see we're still tripping. The temperatures this week have been just absolutely stellar. They've been just fantastic. Uh, mid to upper 40s during the day, high 20s, mid to high 20s at night. Perfect. Uh, this whole week has been this way and the rest of the week moving forward is supposed to be the same way too. So I'm really happy about that. Moved in some wood. So I have everything in here. I mean, I really don't have to put it there because it's just there. And we don't have any rain in the forecast, so I don't have to worry about it. But I like having stuff right there ready to go. So that's why I have it there. But otherwise, I did make some changes to the stove. Nothing drastic. I had some leftover grates from a um, from my propane grill and I have three of them it actually lined up perfectly in here it's kind of hard to see because it's dark but that's all right but that's giving a nice about three inch gap between the fire brick and the grill which will allow for some nice airflow so I'm happy about that this should burn really efficiently tomorrow hopefully I did that as well as added some a one bag of general all-purpose sand at the bottom, more fire brick. So that's in there, ready to go. So yeah, that's all I really got. Um, nothing crazy, just another long day tomorrow is all it's going to be. have questions about this because I know there's there's tons of people who always ask me questions about maple syrup and it's the same questions over and over again it's all available on online but I understand if you don't want to go do the, the research that's fine so if you if you have a question just leave it in the comments I'll do my best to answer it and uh, yeah if you like this share it it's gonna be a, another good day tomorrow looking forward to it it'll give me some time to uh, 
to read. I'm actually doing a, uh, a Bible reading plan, which is the entire Bible, Old and New Testament, in 30 days. It's called the Shred. Uh, it's intense. It's, it's a lot of reading, and thankfully, I'm doing most of it audibly or orally audibly. Um, I retain information better. I, I like. I love podcasts, audiobooks. It's, it's, I retain the information better that way than if I read it. But uh, down here will also give me an opportunity to physically read too. Uh, and I think tomorrow, I just finished. I think I'm halfway through Judges. Yep. So the second half of Judges, and then a big chunk of First Samuel is tomorrow. So looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.